Good evening, Nathaniel here. The Secretary of Agriculture, Purdue, uh, visited Ames, Iowa today on August 30th to discuss uh, the administration's uh, role uh, in dealing with American ag businesses in relationship to trade disputes, weather, advanced technologies, logistics, and labor shortages. The Secretary was quick to lay praise upon Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds for her commitment and pers pursuit of a quick uh, resolution to the Trump administration's trade disputes that were affecting Iowa farmers. He said that, you know, Kim Reynolds, uh, with one year of service to the state of Iowa's governor, has had more communication and access to the President of the United States than the Secretary did his entire stint as the governor of Georgia. The Secretary was relaying a uh, tr President Trump's uh, hope that uh, Canada was going to be following suit with a trade agreement similar to that with Mexico and that the administration's uh, plan uh, was to create bilateral agreements with the EU shortly thereafterwards. Then after with the EU, he, uh, the attempt is going to be with Japan that has so far persisted on the use of the TPP agreement. The Secretary was hopeful that Japan would be able to look at some of the one-on-one -on -one agreements that the United States had already made with countries like Mexico, Canada, and the EU in the EU and find that it would be a much better advantage, ad, advantage for Japan to make a one-on-one -on -one deal with the U.S. like the other countries have done so. Resulting in the grand prize would be to make a new modern deal with China, which has been uh, boiling over over the last uh, few months. The Secretary also stated that the government is currently working on untapping markets in the rest of Asia and South America to sell not only soybeans and corn, but also uh, products like Iowa pork. Uh, commenting on recent trade um, developments with the uh, South American nation of Argentina, uh, he, he also commented on how the federal government is buying more directly from American farmers uh, to supplement the, the food banks and other programs that feed people here in the United States and also boosting spend expenditures on America's uh, foreign aid food release, uh, relief programs uh, throughout the world, uh, making up for some of the shortages that the UN has not been able to successfully deal on their own. The Secretary uh, talked briefly about the spillover in the economy in, as agricultural businesses um, will need to have better infrastructure to be able to get produce from to the markets, and that the Trump administration is still pursuing bills that would uh, build up American infrastructure, uh, especially in rural areas like the state of Iowa. Purdue also uh, discovered aid to farmers uh, hit hard by weather conditions and how the administration is basing its uh, uh, assessment of the value based on the production so that uh, farmers would not be affected by current trade disputes. Secretary Purdue gave uh, his big thanks to the and appreciation to the farmers that have so far been patient with the trade disputes. And in the end, he believes that the efforts will pay off heavily in the end. In relation to foreign labor, uh, because of Iowa and other ag states' record low employment uh, and labor shortages, Purdue said that he was encouraging the acceleration of guest uh, work visas with the president and that he had hopes of a resolution will be forthcoming in regards to getting uh, laborers needed to do the, the agricultural work. To round things up, Secretary uh, has stated that America's agricultural industry is fundamentally on a whole nother level compared to other industries around the world and that ag businesses have researched and developed and have applied its R&D far beyond any of its competition. What he calls the digitalization of agriculture and the technology jobs and logistics jobs uh, related to the spillover with agriculture will spur uh, more growth in the economy as a whole. That kind of wraps up most of the roundtable held today in Ames, Iowa, with um, Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Mike Nag, uh, Kim Reynolds, the Governor of Iowa, the Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg, and the uh, Secretary of Agriculture for the Trump Administration, Purdue. Uh, today was a very, very happy uh, roundtable. Everyone was, seemed to be really excited and energized by the negotiations and discussions that came about from this roundtable. And there's a lot of optimism in the state of Iowa regarding its ag businesses. And I think that's going to lead to more um, 
confidence in these companies to apply some more of that research and development and to really hone in their skills so that once these trade agreements work themselves through, that Iowa is going to be able to outproduce and outmatch any competition leaning forward. This is one of the, the things that has led Iowa to be known as the world's breadbasket, and I encourage uh, these talks to continue, and I encourage the government and the state of Iowa to work on, on tapping uh, currently um, markets that aren't currently being used, because with saturation of other economies, with I Iowa and other states' agricultural uh, implementations, we're going to need to be able to diversify our markets. So places like Southeast Asia, uh, Asia Minor, uh, and South America, and uh, even Africa with some of the aid programs that are going to be essential to uh, continuing America's prosperity and its growth in its ag, along with, again, uh, spillover with the uh, digitalization and tech involvement with agricultural businesses and we spilled over as far as infrastructure and building is concerned uh, not only for the state of Iowa but the country as a whole uh, that's all I have for you today uh, thanks for watching uh, stay healthy stay wealthy and stay wise stay classy peace out